Hey everybody, it's Cody Nelson with Cover Crop Kings. Just out here checking this plot again, May 15th. Um, it has been a slow, cold spring uh, out here. I uh, just want to remind you where we're at. So this is a 30-60-30-60 plot. Um, this is where we chopped last fall. And we, so this corn came off a lot earlier. We were doing this just to show uh, what we had going on. But I want you to take notice uh, what, what we used for interseeding. We used some annual ryegrass and we also used some winter rye. Uh, we had some clover in there. We had some Winfred brassica. And what we're seeing is a lot better stand of rye that made it through. This was seeded at V4. Um, we still had really low rates, but notice in the 30 between the 60s, there's not much right in this strip. But you see the 60 inch and the 60 inch. Uh, why we're doing some of this is so we can get all our cover crops planted at once. We need to get rye going so we can plant beans into it, um, but we're not able to get that rye to handle the shade very often in 30 inch rows. So this is why we're trying 60. Um, we got lots of folks going to straight 60 now. I think that makes a lot more sense than doing the 30, 60, 30, 60. What you're gonna have, have happen if you're doing the 30, 60 is you're gonna have strips with nothing. Uh, when you have strips and nothing, you're gonna have more weeds grow in there. So like I say, rates are not right. Um, uh, we're gonna increase the grasses here. Uh, we're gonna increase um, just probably the rates in general. I think we took it down uh, a little too low, but we do have a nice stand. If we'd have had a decent spring, um, we, you know, obviously we would have had a lot more growth out here, but at least we got something. It beats the heck out of a black field. So, uh, but interesting, when you get up on the hills, we do have, this is, we'll get out of the, here we're still in the 3060 spot. Uh, but as we get over here, we do have some green. And, and I want, I just want you to know up here, uh, we're close to Starbuck, Minnesota. Uh, you're getting a little further north uh, for a lot of folks. And these hilltops, the corn just does not get as tall. That is allowing the rye to grow. You don't have to go very far south of here and that will not work or has not, has not worked. I don't want to say anything won't work, but, but that absolutely hasn't worked. Uh, we get out by the South Dakota state line, Minnesota, South Dakota state line, we can make it work. So depending upon the height of your corn, you may be able to get the winter rye to handle the shade, but it's, it's very unlikely. So uh, in, in 30 inch. So here on this farm, we're actually going back to doing all oh, straight 44s uh, i'm going to bring you another video here shortly with uh 44 inch planting green uh, so anyways but i just wanted to show show this update of the 30 60 30 60. Uh, a lot of people have been saying they're going to try this i strongly recommend to just go straight 60. Uh, from everything we're seeing you can when done right maintain yields maintain population use the use the right corn hybrid use the right cover crop blend at the right time it can it can absolutely work and you can produce a, as much grain to sell with a lot more biomass uh, take the advantage of cycling those nutrients uh, producing some more nutrients uh, at times uh, produce feed if you want to i think ultimately we're going to see a lot better plant health in 60 inch corn than we will in 30 we're going to get sunlight down further down the plant and we're also uh, we're going to kind of lock any of those funguses in the soil any issues any soil borne issues that we have uh, will create kind of that green barrier and and you know what we're going to have a lot of pollinators out there too so uh, you know that's some things we got to look at putting some pollinator species in um, or, or some some flowering species in to bring in some good pollinators so just some of the things we're looking at uh, just just wanted to look around and and uh, kind of excited how this is looking now we got some heat it's gonna warm up even more today uh, but we've been really wet and cool so don't uh, don't plan on this if, you know if you're further south you're probably looking at this rye May 15th thinking it was a complete waste but um, under the circumstances we're just glad to have some cover 
and we're really glad to be able to hold our soil in place uh, and, and be able to capture this sunlight and be pumping carbon in the ground back into the soil and, and doing what we can. Uh, you got to try some new stuff, try some new stuff every year. So uh, like I say, we'll bring you a few more videos, but this is kind of some exciting stuff coming on uh, from here. So make sure to like the video, share the video, uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to Cover Crop Kings. We appreciate it. We'll bring you some more videos. Thank you.